For more videos, visit for the sake of education.com or support me at patreon.com forward slash Daxter Bells. All right, guys, now we're going to do this problem where we have a couple moment acting on the pipe assembly and they want you to express the moment that these couple forces are creating in Cartesian vector form. And what is the magnitude, of course, of that couple moment? So basically, this is how I'm going to approach the problem. You need to visualize the couple moment. How do you calculate a couple moment? Basically, you get the distance between the couples, the couple forces. And as you can see, this is going, the, the moment that this thing is creating is going to be this way. This will be the couple moment. And it will be turning, hopefully you can visualize that way. That's why is this, this aiming to the right, because of the right hand rule. Basically, do the right hand rule, get the moment, do the right hand rule, and try to figure out what it's aiming. The moment is going to be aiming this way. That's the first thing you need to visualize. Once you visualize that, then my explanation and these problems are going to become much, much easier. So as you can see, the couple moment acts in B and in C. So basically, you need to find this distance. So let me open a new layer, and that's the first thing we're going to do. We're going to find that distance. To find that distance, we're going to find where B is sitting. And you can see by the diagram that B is sitting at negative 1 in the I, plus the D in the J, plus 0 in the K. And C is sitting at 2 in the I, plus 5.5 .5 in the J, plus 0 in the K. So to find that distance, we're going to find first vector that goes from B to C, which is equal to C minus B. And that is equal to 3 in the i plus 2.5 in the j plus 0 in the k. Once we got the Cartesian vector form of this vector, then we can find the magnitude of this vector by doing the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square. So 3 squared plus 2.5 squared plus 0 squared, all square rooted, comes out to be 3.91. And of course, this is in feet because everything's in feet. So that just gave us right off the bat this distance right here. So the magnitude of the, of the couple moment created, say C for couple, is equal to the forces, 20 pounds, times the distance between them, which is 3.91. And that comes out to be 78.1 foot pounds. So we have the magnitude right off the bat. Now, how do we find the Cartesian vector form of this magnitude? Well, you know that this the Cartesian vector form of this vector can be found by multiplying a univector, a tiny vector with a magnitude of 1, a univector aiming in the same direction, times the magnitude which we have, which is found the magnitude. So how would you find a univector aiming that same way? Well, this is very easy. Just think about it. So basically, to find a univector that same in this way, this is what I did. Get this vector BC, which we already have, and get a vector going down. And if you do the cross product between these two vectors, you're going to get a vector going this way because of the right hand rule. And this vector is parallel to this univector. So what vector do we have that's going straight down? We're going to do negative 1 in the k, which is basically a univector aiming straight down in the k direction. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to do the cross product between the vector bc, the vector that goes from b to c, which we have right here conveniently, cross a univector going straight down. It's not the same as this univector. Okay, and that is equal to I, J, K, 
this is BC is 3, 2.5 and 0 and the unit vector going straight down is 0, 0, negative 1. So basically you rewrite the first and second column 3, 2.5, 0, 0 and then you do your positive diagonals positive, positive, positive and your negative diagonals negative, negative, negative so positive diagonals the first one is negative 1 times 2.5 times i negative 2.5i second one is 0, third one is 0 negative diagonals is 0, the first one 0, the second one, the third one is negative times negative 1, that's positive 1 times 3 times j would make it positive 3j now we have a vector going to the right but it's not a univector, we need to find a univector going towards the uh, direction of mc so to find the univector basically what you do is let me turn the page Actually, let me just continue. Yeah, let me turn the page. To find the univector, we have, remember, we have BC cross the U going straight down is equal to negative 2.5 di plus 3j. I'm just rewriting what I just did. To find the magnitude of this vector, the magnitude, you do the same thing, the x component square plus the y component square plus the c component square, all square rooted. And you're going to get that this is equal to 3.91. Why is it the same? Because remember, you're doing the cross product with a vector that's 1. Any number times 1 is the same thing. So it's 3.91. If you know that, you didn't need to do this, but I just did it. Now, now that you have that, you can find the univector that we're looking for. This univector right here, which will be this univector right here. That's the same thing. Remember, univectors have no origin. They just have direction. The univector is equal to the vector, the Cartesian vector form of that vector, divided by the magnitude. And the univector comes out to be negative 0.640 in the i plus 0.768 in the j. And it has no magnitude in the k. Now that we have this univector, all you need to do is multiply it by the magnitude which is the first thing that we found times the univector let me double check what was the magnitude the magnitude was 78.1 so it's 78.1 times this univector and you get that the Cartesian vector form of the moment is equal to minus 50i plus 60j. Basically you multiply this 78.1 by 0.640i and then by 0.768 in the j. And that is the moment at c in Cartesian vector form. Final answer and obviously final answer for the, oh wait, this is not it. The magnitude is 78.1 foot pounds. Final answer for the magnitude. Please comment below if you want me to do any problems and I'll be happy to help. Thank you.